Hello, I had a conversation today with this support from Lightmap and I asked them if it is possible to use Octane in Blender in conjunction with the uh, HDR Light Studio and they told me it is not officially supported and there's actually no way to do it and then I asked if there's any workaround for it and um, again they said that it's not, uh, there, it is not known that there's any workaround and so I tried to figure it out um, and I found a way. As you can see here, I use the render engine Octane and this is my HDR Light Studio. And if I take away a light or add a light, you will see it is updating in the viewport. And so this is the proof there is a way for it. It's not perfect yet, but it is at least a way. Uh, and I hope that yeah, you guys will fi find a way to make it perfect because this the only thing that is not working correctly is the uh, is this canvas here. When I click on it, the light will not appear in the right in the right place. It's not really really working. I mean, it's it's similar, but you know, you see the light the, the, the spot should be here, but it is not here. Um, but to be honest, I can live with that because I mostly use this canvas here down there uh, to adjust my lights. So I'm happy to be able to use Octane with Blender and HDR Light Studio. So and I want to like to sh I would like to show you the way uh, how I figured it out. And yeah, let's do it. So I close the scene and I start a new. Blender file and so the first thing we have to do is to make sure that we are in cycles because if you want to start HDR Light Studio with Octane it will tell you that it's not possible it's not supported so you have to switch to cycles at first then you have to start HDR Light Studio so here we go so now it works as expected. You know, this is cycles and everything is fine as it should be. Yep. Okay. Um, now, the way to make it work in Octane is at first I, I would suggest to add a few lights in order just to have some, some light information in the scene. And now what you have to do is you have to render the light map, uh, the, the, the HDR light uh, map to a file. Um, I do it that way with an EXR and I tell him where he has to save it. And I hit apply and render. Okay, it's done. And now we change the render engine to Octane. Now you will see nothing. It's black as expected. And what I will do now is I want to go to the shader editor and into the world uh, shader editor. And here you see the standard cycles setup with the standard Blender nodes. And what we will have to do now is we have to change these nodes into the Octane render nodes. So, for example, we need the texture environment and we need a um, image texture, I think. Yes, this one. So connect this to the texture and, of course, we need to um, connect this to the Octane environment. And then we open the file that we just saved here, this is the, my one. Change the gamma to one. And here you see the result of it. It's updating and it's actually working. And now if I take a light away or edit, it works. Great, right? This is all. This is all. This is nothing too complicated. Um, I stumbled over this by chance. I just tried to make it work that way and it worked and it's pretty cool I think. 
Um, yeah, as I said, the only thing that does not work is the this <laughs> light painting mode. It's just not in the right spot. And I, I tried to, to fix this with a rotation transform that I plugged into this uh, this node um, but and I think it might be the right way I don't know if I could match if I could make it match with the light where it is uh, where it is here maybe it would work that way but I couldn't really make it work I don't know I hope that some of you guys are smart enough to um, yeah to find a way to make this work perfectly and if so I ask you please tell me please um, do a comment below this video in order to inform me when you found a way to yeah, make the light paint mode work perfectly with this preview. So yeah, I hope you can enjoy it and have fun with using Octane, Blender and HDR Light Studio. Bye bye.